Hello, my fellow griefers and trolls. Eric the Plague Doctor, 981YT here. And Bicos. <clears throat> Welcome back to more Elder Scrolls Online, my favorite multiplayer game of all time. Now, initially, my plan was to, uh, do a, uh, another South Park video, but, um, uh, that boss fight is very stressful. So, um, yeah. I decided against it. Because that boss fight is, like, just super stressful. But anyways, let's talk with Keshu the Black then. Every stone tossed into a pond causes ripples. The stones you have thrown have caused waves. As much as I wish to assist you... I need to think of Gideon and its safety. What do you mean, Governor? My spy master tells me that Counselor Von Dacia still has eyes in the city. That even now we fear he is aware that we harbor the ambitions. That he gathers his cultists to assault Gideon. The presence of the ambitions puts my people at risk. What do you want me to do? Keep the ambitions safe, but we need to find a better place to hide them. Talk to the ambitions. Perhaps the third one you rescued. Sombrin, was it? Evely said he wasn't locked in a vault when the cult found him. Maybe he knows more than the twins. I'll go talk to the ambitions. I would never turn away anyone in need. We will protect the ambitions for as long as we can. Yet I fear my legionnaires will not be able to hold off Vandacia's forces should they attack. Go to the Temple of Debella when you are ready to talk to them. Why are you suddenly worried about Vandacia's forces? My spy master reports a flurry of activity that is troublesome, and Gideon is not the fortress it once was. Even so, my Blackfin Legion will give as good as it gets. Better even. What most concerns me is the possibility of treachery. Treachery? Vandacia's family is powerful and has deep roots in Blackwood. His spies and political allies fill Gideon like wine fills a goblet. And not all of them are cultists, at least not openly. I fear the enemy we cannot see more than the one we can. I mean, girl's got a point. She has a point there. Go on, Kalia. Unleash your power. Just like back in the Sanctum. All right. If you say so. No! Wait! Something's wrong. Pull back, Kalia. Pull back! I can't! Hold on. Let me help. There. How did you do that? Practice. I trained to control my powers after I left my vault. Okay. Interesting. When I was freed from my vault, it took months for my power to reach such levels. And then it nearly destroyed me. I'm surprised Callie has gotten to that point so quickly after her release. Why did Kalia lose control like that? Our powers grow exponentially once we leave the protection of the vaults. It's what they were constructed for. But Kalia's power has advanced much faster than mine did. It almost consumed her. 
If not for my mentor, the same would have befallen me. How did you get out of your vault? And what's that about a mentor? When Duke Baron's forces came through, they set me free. To them, I was just another political prisoner. I wandered without a purpose for a time until my power reached a level similar to what you saw here. That's when my mentor found me. Do you think this mentor can help Kalia and Destron learn to control their power? I don't see why not. Plus, it will probably be safer if the three of us leave for a while. There's an old shrine northwest of here. Let's meet there. I suggest you tell your wood elf companion where we're going. She seems like the sort to worry. Good idea. I'll tell Evely, then meet you at the shrine. Find us in the marsh to the northwest. I'll take Callie and Destron and meet you at the shrine. Don't worry. I'll protect them. The cultists won't surprise me again. Just let your wood elf friend know that we have the twins and we'll keep them safe. Governor Keshu suggested we might want to leave the city for the a governor while. governor is wise. A moving target is harder to hit than a stationary one. And if we're no longer inside the city, Fondacia's cultists have no reason to attack it. How did you wind up locked in the Deadlands, by the way? I wasn't paying attention. My mentor warned me that I was going to be hunted, but I didn't listen. I returned to my old vault to see if I could learn more about who and what I am. The cultist ambushed me, knocked me out before I could respond. What do you mean when you say Kalia's power will consume her? The governor is wise. A moving target is harder to hit than a stationary one. And if we're no longer inside the city, Fondacia... That was terrifying. I've never felt anything like that, ever. Nothing like that ever occurred during our training in the Sanctum. What's happening to me? What were you trying to do? My gift is fire. Summoning flames is as natural as breathing. In the vault, it was always just a spark or a simple flicker. But when I tried to hit the target, I couldn't control it. The fire inside me, it wanted to grow, to spread, to feed. Oh dear. How do you feel I'm now? Fine. A, a bit lightheaded, maybe. Whatever Sombrin did, it put the fire out. At least for now. I don't like this. What if next time I summon the power, no one can help me extinguish it? I could hurt Destron. I could burn Gideon to the ground. We won't let that happen. Our power seems to be getting stronger. Harder to control. If not for Sombra and Kalia's own power might have consumed her. Is this our punishment for abandoning our sanctum? I don't think you're being punished. No, probably not. But we're definitely getting stronger. You saw what I did in the sanctum. My power is lightning, but after seeing how Kalia lost control, I'm hesitant to use it out here. I will, though, if I'm called upon to defend my sister. Did I miss anything interesting? There she hey, is. It's right I'm there. over here. Keshu told me to take a thinking break. It helps to take a break sometimes, you know, from thinking, so you can think better later. Anyway, how are the ambitions doing? Have you figured out a better place to hide them? Sombrin has an idea, but the twins are losing control of their power. Now that sounds bad, obviously. What happened? Kalia almost burned down the temple, but Sombrin knows someone who can help him. Oh! I knew there was a reason we plucked him out of Vandasia's fortress in the Deadlands. I mean, other than preventing a human sacrifice. So who is this helpful person?
Sombrin's mentor. We're going to meet outside Gideon. We might be gone for a while. Stick close to them. You need to keep the ambition safe and out of Andasius' clutches. While you're away, I'm going to continue helping Keshu's Blackfin Legion. And I want to be around when my cousins from Valenwood finally arrive. Good luck! Let's see where we're going. Okay, literally outside the city. Although something is legit telling me that we're gonna need to defend Gideon at some point. All I ask is that you all keep an open mind. That's a Dramora. Sombrin. What's going on here? Easy, everyone. Interesting. I didn't expect to hear from Sombrin again after he left, despite my advice. But to find him in the presence of a powerful mortal and two other actions. But where are my manners? Greetings, mortal. I am Zyna. Sombrin says you mentored him, helped him control his power. And so I did. I sensed his need and offered assistance. He well, and as he will tell you, I never betrayed him. Is that why he has summoned me? Because those other two ambitions now face the same danger that almost consumed him? Yes, we want to make sure Kalia and Destron don't destroy themselves with their own power. Then you must bring them to my sanctuary. They are far more than anything you can imagine. I helped Sombrin because I didn't want to see him fall into Mehrun's Dagon's hands, or destroy himself with his own power. I will do the same for the others. Where is the Sanctuary? I hide in the Deadlands. Yes, Dagon's realm. But I have ways to protect us. Before you bring them, they must be attuned to this realm. Find slivers of the Deadlands lodged in your world. Sombrin will show you how to use them to attune the ambitions. Fascinating. As I said, Zyna helped me. And she can help Kalia and Destron. You just have to trust her. And if you can't trust her, trust me. You should have told us your mentor was a Dramora. Forgive me, but in my experience, most of Nern takes a dark view of Dramora. Zyna found me when I was at my worst. If she wanted me dead, she could have killed me years ago or just let me destroy myself. Instead, she helped me, taught me control. I know a Dramora. She must want something out of you. Oh, of that I'm certain. Competition in the Deadlands is fierce, especially among the non-aligned Dramora. I know that she seeks allies to call upon when the need arises. Having three ambitions who owe you a favor? Oh, that's like gold to Zyna. Tell me about this attunement process Zyna was talking about. Let me mark your map. Zyna told me where to find these slivers of the Deadlands when I needed them. Dagon cultists often enshrine these shards whenever they find them. You'd be surprised how often chunks of oblivion make their way to Nern.
what do we do with these silvers once we find them? I'll describe the process when you return. I need to prepare a portal at a place where the planar boundaries are thin. Take Kalia and Destron and gather the slivers. Then I can attune them to the Deadlands. I also marked where to meet me on your map. Alright, I'll take the twins and find these silvers in the Deadlands. Our powers interact strangely with the natural forces of the Deadlands. That's why we need to be attuned. Of course, I underwent the process years ago. Now we must help the twins do the same. Keep them safe, then meet me on the road south of Gideon. So I don't need to be attuned? No, you're not an ambition. Besides, you've been to the Deadlands already and suffered no ill effects. If the twins attempted that before we attuned them, the plane would rip them apart. Our power is connected to Mehrun's Dagon in some way. Oh, and what does that mean? I'm not entirely sure. I just know that there's some element of Mehrun's Dagon inside us, and it wants to return whence it came. I think that's what Von Dacia hoped to accomplish by killing me. Anyway, I'd rather not see that happen to any of us. Let's find these objects from the Deadlands as Sombrin's mentor suggested. If it helps keep me and my sister alive, we've got to try it, no matter the risk. Have you ever heard of this attunement process? No, but I never heard of ambitions either before all this began. We're in new territory here, but as long as my sister and I are in danger, I'll take help wherever I can get it. Let's go and find these objects. I suppose we must trust in Sombrin's experience. He knows quite a lot more about our powers than we do. You think we should trust Xana? Does it matter? I felt the power inside me when I lost control back at the temple. I couldn't stop it. If Sombrin hadn't suppressed my flames, I would have ignited the city. Unless you know another way to fix me, I don't think we have a choice. Fascinating. Can you believe it, Kalia? We're going to be great heroes. What's heroic about being consumed by our own powers? Zyna taught Sombrin to control his power. Do the same for us. If the cultists are our own powers, they'll kill us first. Come now, sister. Where's your sense of adventure? What if Zyna only wants to use us for our power, Destron? She can't force us. You heard her. She needs allies, and we're as powerful as they come. I've read the stories. Pacts with Daedra never turn out well. I'll protect you, Kalia. You have my word. Silly little brother. I'm the one who protects you. All right. You're Next time you're helping older. me only with Only by a moment. Ajmota. Two slivers of the Deadlands, one for each of us. Mission accomplished. I fear it just gets more difficult from here. You worry about everything. Let's go meet Sombrin.
Uh, might as well keep going. Find more than trouble here. Coming for us. Why aren't they doing anything? Is it because their power will fuck shit up? Destron, stop! This is serious! Relax, Kalia. We're on an adventure. Destron, be serious! Our own powers could destroy us! That won't happen. I won't let it. It might not be up to you. Kalia... We'll figure this out. We're doing this to avoid all that. Did you gather the slivers? You found the Deadland slivers? Good. I set up the portal at the top of the hill behind me. Alatune, Kalia, and Destron. Then we can make our way to the summit. Why should I be doing this? What, what should I be doing while you attune the twins? I need you to deal with a complication for me. A uh, complication? Creatures were drawn to the hillside by my actions. Could you make sure the path to the top is clear? The last thing we need is for some mundane and random threat to provoke a response from Kalia or Destron. I'll make sure the way is clear and meet you at the top. I was kind of expecting some enemies, but okay. Get back, you fetcher! Here we go. Just like we discussed, focus on the slivers of Deadlands. I've never traveled by portal before. Uh, quick, step inside. Follow when you're ready, friend.
greet you, mortal. As with Sombrin, I shall do all that I can to aid the twins. But first, they must survive the Ashen Forest. They must walk the path of the obelisks. Tell me about these trials. What's the path of the obelisks? Before I can teach them to contain their power, they must first come to understand it. The path of the obelisks will help them do so. They must visit the three ancient oracles and learn the truths that each will reveal. And what's my role in this? Protect the twins from the dangers of the forest. They cannot unleash their power safely until they have learned to control it. At each obelisk, you will bear witness to the truths they learn. Come to me when all is said and done. Then we shall see. The power of these two ambitions grows with every passing moment. You must hurry. The path begins to the northwest. Look for the obelisks of origin, empowerment, and inevitability. Each will reveal a hidden truth. I cannot say for certain. Their truths are their own, not mine. Yet I know that they must walk this path. A mortal cannot become what they are meant to be without first understanding what they are. Much remains hidden from these two ambitions. To. Huh. Well done. That must be the first obelisk. Activate. Yourself, brother, while our friend activates it. Something's happening. The babes are asleep? Oh, I couldn't get the boy to stop falling. I fed the twins until they were feeling exhausted. Your Majesty, welcome. The babes are healthy and strong. As commanded, my Emperor. She bore twins. As Merun's Dagon commanded, so it has been done. Our parents and the High Priest? I don't understand. Oh, shit. This is the obelisk of empowerment. Activate it, if you would, friend. It's starting. Time for the final ritual, my emperor. Proceed, high priest. Oh, Merun's Dagon, prince of ambition and destruction, imbue these infants with your power. Let it ripen and grow within these vessels until the appointed time. As so Dagon wills let it. Be done. Our parents were sacrificed to Mayrun's Dagon? Why? Well, this just keeps getting darker and darker. Watch out!
on its own. Suppose we should step inside. This doesn't look ah, suspicious at all. This must be the day you learn you are destined to fail. That I and the waking flame emerge. Taurus. No. Destron, is that us up there? And Mayrun's Dagon? Is this our future, Kalia? Is this... Must be rather depressing to see that all your efforts were in vain. That my victory is inevitable. The other vision visions showed the twins past. Why is this one different? Visions. You must understand the forces with which you meddle. Given your failures before you died, that doesn't surprise me. You entered the portal at the obelisk of inevitability in the Deadlands. What could be more inevitable than the future? Look around and see for yourself. The very fact that you stand before me proves that you didn't stop me. You didn't save the ambitions. You didn't save anyone. I destroyed. Now this realm belongs to my lord and master, Mehrun's Dagon. Nothing is inevitable. You haven't won yet. Who stands behind me? Look at the throne on which I sit. Mehrun's Dagon may be the master of all Nern, but he has given me Tamriel as my reward. From High Rock to Morrowind, all bow to my will. There is no power in Tamriel equal to mine. Mercenary, time to go. Through the portal, quickly. Interesting, very interesting. Dacia. He had us displayed like trophies. We saw our future. We're doomed. Snap out of it. What you saw was just one possible inevitability. Nothing is set in stone. I didn't think that was how my story was going to end. I really thought we were going to win. Despite appearance, this isn't over yet, Destron. Isn't it? You saw the Prince of Destruction. How can we hope to fight something like that, let alone his High Priest? Maybe it's better if we just let our powers consume us. At least they won't be able to claim us. Destroying yourself isn't the answer. 
You need to learn to control your powers to end stand with me. Now you sound like Kalia and Sombrin. You're right, though. We have power beyond anything Vandasia possesses. That's why he wants us. Once Zyna teaches us, we'll be unstoppable. All right. We're with you. Let's go get this done. Vandasia is going to win. We saw ourselves. Drawing power from us, like sipping wine from a chalice. It was only a vision, Kalia. We haven't been defeated yet. But you saw how Vandesia looked. Strong, powerful, and Dagon looking down on us. How do we stand against that? You learn to control your power and we stand against them together. I don't... Can it really be that simple? Was that the point of these visions? To show us how we were created, and to reveal a dark and possible future? All right, I understand. Just because the night is long, doesn't mean the sun won't rise tomorrow. The obelisk of inevitability reveals just one possible future. True, it's the most likely outcome, but it isn't the only one. Now that we know where things are heading, we can work to change the course. So Vandacia is going to win. Prince Dagon is going to claim our world. We're dealing with forces beyond our understanding. It was always going to be a difficult journey. But the obelisk of inevitability only shows what will happen if events continue on their current course. That future hasn't happened. Yet. So what do we do? The perils of visiting oracles. Are we better off knowing what is to come, or continuing on in blissful ignorance? I believe our choice is better. I choose to resist Mayroon's Dagon, and no vision will sway me from that path. I hope you feel the same. for the twin ambitions let us speak we can finally greet each other in person mortal before we begin the process that will permit the twins to control their powers I must ask you a single question why does one who abhors Mayrun's Dagon care what happens to his ambitions the ambitions are people they should get to decide their own fate a noble sentiment but they are more than just people. They are powerful weapons. Dagon's priest imbued them with a portion of the Lord of Destruction's own energy when they were born. It has grown and intensified in the intervening years. Grown and intensified to what end? Imagine that each ambition is like a mortal bank. Instead of gold, the priest deposited a portion of Dagon's energy inside them. That energy grew with them, compounding and doubling year after year like interest on your savings. It also transformed. In what way? In every way. What was once just of oblivion became mixed with nerve. Now that energy is a part of both realms. And that is why Mayrun's Dagon wants it back. It will give him the connection to Nern that he so greatly desires. A path to your world. So how do you teach the twins to control their power? Their power is like a volcano, building until released as an explosion or a lava flow. One is catastrophic, the other merely destructive. I will delay the eruptions while teaching them to dissipate and maintain control. You may observe, of course. I'll be watching you closely. We must begin the ritual at once. This way. Stay close, friend. I'll fill 
feel better knowing you're nearby. What's happening? What's going on? Zaina, what are you doing? Helping you fulfill your purpose. Your ambitions. You belong to Mayrun's Dagon. Why am I not surprised? What happened? No! Zaina! Damn it! You betrayed us! Damn her! Zaina betrayed us and cast us into the spider nest! What's the spider nest? It's a dungeon beneath her sanctuary. She sends her enemies here to die. But we aren't her enemies. She saved my life many times. If you'd wanted to hurt me, she could have done so long ago. Why turn against me now? She mentioned Maroon's Dagon. I think she plans to give the twins to him. I don't want to believe that. But I heard what she said, too. And she completely drained my energy. I can't call upon my power until it recharges. We need to find a way out of here. We need to get to Kalia and Destron before Zyna turns them over. How will we help the twins if Zyna refuses to show them how to control their power? First things first. I need to restore my power. Let me think. Zyna told me about an old foe she destroyed, tossed them into this place and kept their skull as a trophy. It may hold enough energy to recharge my power immediately. You rest. Just tell me where to find the... Skull. The skull is in the treasure chamber. You can get there through the east door, retrieve it, and meet me at the door in the north. When you find me, I'll be in a meditative state. Present the skull, and I'll do the rest.
can feel the residual energy. Hold the skull toward me, please. While my power finishes recharging, take a look at what I found. I left it over there. with the obligations imposed upon me by Maroon's Dagon, I attest to the default of the heirs of Durkarach in the execution of the preceding two contracts. The death of Emperor Leovic without the designation of an heir activates the codiciles described in the holy book, whomsoever sacrifices the prepared ambitions in the manner required by Maroon's Dagon may lay claim to the reward once promised unto Durkarach and his heirs. It is written. All right, I'm ready. Follow me. We have to stop Zyna. Attack! She's doing something to the twins! Lord Dagon will reward me for securing the twins. I'll help Pally and Destron. You deal with Zyna. The ambitions belong to Lord Dagon. Their power is for him alone. to Mehrun's Dagon. Sombrin, how could you bring us to this... this monster? She wasn't like this. I, I didn't know. Destron, 
Help me open a portal. Like Sombrin showed us on the hilltop. How interesting. Zaina, she never gave me any indication that she was going to betray us. That she was involved in our creation and wanted to sacrifice us to Mehrun's Dagon. At least the twin stone appeared to be in an imminent danger of exploding. Do you think it's true that you were created to transform the power Dagon placed inside you? Let me take another look at Zyna's contracts. Yes, it's here. Zyna used a holy book to show Von Dacia how to create the Four Ambitions. Could it have been the Mysterium Xarxis? She was always loyal to Dagon. She never wanted to help us at all. I wonder where the Four Ambition, where the Fourth Ambition is. So are we only know of three of you. Hopefully. They're either still locked in a vault, or wandering free like I was. I hate to think that Vondacia captured them while we were busy elsewhere. I'm... I'm not sure what we should do next, my friend. It's beginning to seem hopeless. We'll find a way to defeat Vandacia and save the ambitions. All of you. I hope you're right. But I can't see a way ahead from here. If all else fails, we'll destroy ourselves before we let Dagon win. We're the keys to unlock the barriers between here and the Deadlands. We can't allow ourselves to fall into his hands. Take the twins back to the temple while I go talk with Tukeshu. We'll come back with some... Come up with something. They have no reason to trust me. Not anymore. But I'll still protect them. And somehow, I'll find a way to earn their trust again. Can you can you keep Kalia and Destron from destroying themselves? Whatever Zyna did to prepare them to be sacrificed, it seems to have dampened their power. How long that will last, I have no idea. But until their power builds to uncontrollable levels again, they should be able to use it to help us. What happens after that? I'll try to train the twins as Zyna trained me. If all else fails, I can take them back to the Deadlands. The realm seems to naturally siphon off our energy and keep it at manageable levels. Not my first choice, but it will serve as a last resort. I'm sorry. No idea Zyna meant to betray us. She wanted to kill us. Destron, Zyna betrayed Sombrin too. Because he was stupid enough to trust her. I will make this right. I promise. Let's return to the Gideon is not the ground on which we conduct scene. this fight. There is a better place to defend the ambitions. You return at a grim moment, mercenary. While you were gone, word reached us that the Waking Flame is gathering an army. I fear it will soon march on Gideon. But Evely said you took the ambitions to learn about their powers. Did you succeed? Sort of. We know more about the ambitions, but they're still in danger. We are all in danger. At least you kept the ambitions safe. I thank you for that. Concerning the cult, Evely and I have made plans. But first, I want you to have this. Compensation for the have done up to this point, Wood's behalf. The set likes a quick study.
Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm wearing this. I am keeping this on. Uh, I am not taking this off. <laughs> But, um... Anyways, Bicos, um... Yeah, this is getting, like, really interesting. So, until the next one, this has been, uh, The Plague Doctor, 981YT, and I will see all of you wonderful word, people. Mercenary. And, um... In Assassin's Creed 2, we will continue the adventure of Ezio 